In today's class, I will explain you about starting web page design using HTML and CSS. Then I will show you the code how you design a static web page using HTML and CSS. When you come to the body, then I will take the one division. The class is called as the container because this is applicable for the entire the body. Then here in the container, I added the CSS code for this division. The margin should be zero pixel. The padding should be zero pixel because I don't want to put any space for the margin and padding also. Then after that, I would like to the add another division. Then div div class equal to header. Then h e a d r header. Then division tag will be closed. Then we should close the here. Then once header has to be added, then I would like to add the CSS code for the header. What is the width, height, and the background color of the header? Then dot. Then header. Then you can add the CSS code here for the division header tag. Then what is the width? Width should be hundred percentage as for the browser width. It will be displayed. And then what is the height of the header? The height should be, I would like to add 150 pixels. It is not a percentage, please see carefully. Then I would like to add the background color of the header. What is the background color? I would, I would like to add a black. Here, and then when it comes to web page, then nothing has to be displayed. When you refresh it, then yes, the background color has to be added. Then here I would like to add the title. Then I would like to add the menus or navigation bar at the right side of the header. Then what should I do? Then I move on to the code. Then I come to the body. Then in the header, I would like to add some content, H1 element. Then Anurag University, the title, uh, then after that, I would like to add some then here how it will be displayed. Then I will show you. Yeah. Anurag University is displayed actually. Then because it is not shown to you, because the color is you need to change the color, it is also black color. That's why the text is not visible. Then when it comes to here, the H1 element. Then what is the float should be aligned at the left of the container, float left, then color should be white, white and block combination, then font size, font size should be 40 pixels, then Padding, padding should be added because once before that adding the padding, I will also show the output because you should know it. Yeah, because I would like to add it the center and I move to the right. I, I would like to add the, I would like to move the text towards to the right. Then you can add the padding. Then padding, then I, I would like to add 20 pixels, then right, left and right 40 pixels. Good, how it is displayed. Then I would like to display it, then font size also be added. Letter spacing, letter spacing three pixels. Then now it will be shown, yeah. And then let, I would like to display it in letter. Extra transformation should be it will be there, the uppercase. See here, how it will be, yeah, it's showing good. Then after that, I would like to add the navigation bar to the header. Then I would like to display here. Then I will go to the CSS, sorry, HTML code. Then another list. Another list will also be closed. 
Then I would like to add the list of items with help of the list tag. Then after that, I hyperlink to be given by using the anchor tag. Hyper reference equal Nash. Then home anchor tag will be close. Then just to copy it and paste it. Uh, how many items do you want? I'm adding the four here about then here it is called as for example any restation restation it is called contact then once you add it here then how it will be displayed you see here how it will be displayed then is it visible to you then home about registration, but I would like to add in a gentle manner to the header. Then what I will do, then see. The next, then header, do in float. Float right. I should be aligned at the right. And I will show you. Yeah. It has placed at the right corner of the header. Then after that, what I have to do? Then I will go for the how these items to be added. Then I will show you. Then list style none. Then I don't want to display the dots before it. That's why I remove it. And then after that, then it comes to here, then dot header, then UL, the next uh, cell element LI. Then block display. How it is being displayed? Then it will be displayed in the same line. That's why I would like to add the properties called inline block. See here, it is yeah. It is added. See here, it is added already. Then padding should be thirty pixels. It will be added. You can see. Then font size thirty. Pixels. Okay. Yes, good. It is showing good. Then text transformation upper case. Then it is applicable or not? I will show you again. Yeah, good. Then I would like to add twenty pixels. Yes, once it has been added because hyperlink I has to be added then i would like to change the color color should be what color do you want i would like to add the white over here then i refresh the page because i would like to add the color in the another then after that you come to here then Anchor tag. Then text decoration because I would like to remove the underline. Uh, text decoration is none. Then color should be white. Then see how it will be displayed. Good. Then did you observe that this title has to be added, the menu bars has also be added. Then I would like to add the another CSS when mouse moves over any menus, items, then color would also be changed or you can change the background color or text color. Then see here, then A over, 
background color should be pink then border radius border radius or what is called suppose 20 pixels you can see what is the difference you can observe it okay then background color has to be added okay then if it is good then you can go for the background color or color also then i don't want to go for the, i would like to add the color at that time it is not required border radius is not required then once you move over it the color will be changed the text color will be changed okay then when click on it nothing has to be displayed because i did not add any links over here then after that i will go for the main content here whenever you click on the home page or about it will be displayed over here then i would like to add home page uh, i will uh, if you click on the home page then that uh, information will also be displayed over here then what you have to do is then i will go for inline frame then here i would like to take another division then class equal then content the content is the value of the class then it will be close the, then what you have to do is here then you want to add the main home page then i would like to add the inline frame inline frame the source equal then back for image to be added back to 5 dot jpg which was there already i saved it then width 100 percentage width equal to what is called 100 percentage then height should be height i would like to add 300 pixels then as usual then i will once go through it see here the image has to be added then what is the width what is the height and then i would like to add uh, uh, some of the css code for this one then because i would like to add the css code for the content then content see oh, what is there okay see then then once you done it then what you have to do here then what is the height here what is happening in the content then background position background position background position position should be a center then background sorry background color not a color background size where is their size should be cover so it should be displayed like a cover okay then after that see here okay then it is good then how it is then it has been removed see here once you click on the registration page will also be displayed here okay then what you have to do here the name equal for example inline frame and it comes to the inline frame then see here, i would like to give the height and width you can change it as for your applications for example name equal then some con then when click on the registration page and then the target should be what name is given over here con then again here you should give the what will be there i will show you in my drive then go to the d drive then whether file is there i will check it out then after that 
Registration page is there or not? Okay, yes. Registration. Form registration, sorry. Yeah. Is there already? Then I will copy it. Then I will move on to the code. Dot HTML. You can see once this code has to be written, then I refresh it. When you click on it, the registration page will also be displayed here. See, because whenever you click on the about or contact, the related information will be displayed. Okay, this is a sample static web. You go for the about, you can write the code for the about and contact and go. Okay. Then this is a sample code web uh, series. Sorry, the static web page design using the CSS and HTML. Okay, if you have any doubt regarding this CSS code, you may contact anytime. I will clarify your doubts. Thank you. Thank you all for watching my videos.